Hello Virgo, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Virgo, these messages are timeless. Whenever you happen to click on the video, that's when these messages could resonate the most. Remember that this is a general reading, so not everything is going to apply. Just take what does and leave the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into your energy. Spirit, give me some messages for Virgo. What are the messages for Virgo? Next 48 to 72 hours. What are the messages for Virgo? Next 48 to 72 hours. Messages for Virgo. Next 48 to 72. All right. Oh, beautiful. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. So you have Libra highly aspect to here. Give me a, another energy for Virgo. What's the energy? Oh, what do you need to release? Waning moon. So for some of you, I feel like um, before you get into a new connection here, there's still something or someone that you need to let go of. I feel like God's spirit is trying to give you love or is trying to give another energy love. Um, however, somebody has some cleaning up to do. Yeah. I'm actually hearing the song, The Clean Up Woman. So for some of you, um, I'm hearing, um, I'll Take Yours. So this could be a situation where um, someone may be feeling like you're coming in between their relationship or you may feel this way about another energy. Somebody could have taken your man or your woman or you could have done this Virgo. Take it as it resonates. But somebody came in and interfered in your relationship or you interfered in somebody else's. Let's get another energy. I'm also hearing Nivea, don't you mess with my man. Um, somebody could be very controlling. I'm even hearing volatile. Somebody has a very possessive energy. Spirit, give me a message for Virgo. What is the energy for Virgo? Next 48 to 72 hours. What is the message for Virgo? Oh, I have the three of cups. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, the eight of swords. So for some of you, I feel like you're definitely going to have a reason to celebrate. Some of you may be going into partnership, a union, um, domestic bliss, I'm hearing. This could be the leveling up of a connection. Somebody could be getting engaged, moving in together, getting married. So definitely my congratulations. For others of you, I feel like this is definitely a third party situation here. Yeah, the Eight of Swords to the um, Ace of Wands. I feel like somebody could definitely be stuck in some type of cycle here, karmic cycle. Let's pull some more energy. Spirit, give me a message for the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Okay, oh wow. So the Three of Wands to the Wheel of Fortune, both in the reverse. So somebody's receiving some type of karma here. Yeah, somebody's not able to move forward. Somebody's stuck. Um, we have Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy on the Wheel of Fortune, clarifying the Three of Wands. Wow, a lot of reversals here, Virgo. I have the Two of Cups and the Devil in the reverse. Capricorn energy. So somebody was definitely in a very toxic relationship. Yeah, there was a lot of um, bickering. Somebody could be very argumentative. Yeah, somebody was stuck in a situation that really was not going anywhere. It was karmic. This person was just meant to learn a lesson. I feel like you're making a decision or either this person is making a decision here, Virgo, to pull back, to walk away from this situation. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Virgo? Somebody um, is releasing any karmic ties, the hangman, Pisces energy. Give me another energy on this Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Knight of Pentacles. So it could have taken the person a long time to catch on to something. Or taking you a long time to get something here. This could be about a third party. 
Yeah, but it took you a long time to see something about someone that you were connected to. Yeah, the moon, Pisces, Cancerian energy, a lot of things were hidden here. There definitely could have been a lot of secret competition with the Five of Swords. Give me an energy on the Two of Cups. For some of you, it took you a long time to see just how toxic someone was or is. Give me an energy on the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here for Virgo? What is this? Temperance. Yeah, I'm getting it's just time for you to give it up. Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Somebody's being made to just give it up. Yeah. Somebody's cutting someone off. I'm hearing a clean cut off. King of Swords. Yeah, somebody means business here. Give me an energy on the devil. Why is the devil here for Virgo? Why is the devil here for Virgo? Ooh, I have the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So for some of you, I feel like you're resisting this person sexually. Somebody's definitely trying to make some sexual advances towards you, but it's like you want no parts of this. No, no ma'am, no sir. We're not doing that type of energy. Give me a message on the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Somebody could also be controlling their urges as well. Yeah, somebody's putting up some firm boundaries. Because it's like you're realizing that if you sleep with this person, more is attached to it. It's like, yeah, you may sleep with this person, but you're going to have to deal with their toxic behavior at the same time. It's like once you open Pandora's box, that's pretty much it. And you're realizing that now. You see it for what it is. Give me an energy on the hangman. Watch the hangman here for Virgo. The Six of Pentacles. Give me another energy on the hangman. For Virgo. Why is the hangman in here? Wow, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's realizing that they invested in the wrong situation. For some of you, you could have spent like a lot of money on this person. You were taking care of this person, but now it's like you're the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So somebody has lost a lot. Somebody's in lag. Like with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a part of someone's karma. Give me an energy on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Virgo? The Three of Swords. Yeah, this was like a third party situation, most definitely. Give me an er another energy on this Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Virgo? Wow. The King of Wands. Yeah. Somebody definitely like to participate in a lot of third parties here. They like to have a good time. But now they're cutting that out. Yeah, again, it took this person a long time to catch on or it took you a long time to catch on what was really going on around you. It's like once you caught on to everything, once this person seen it for what it was, they had no money. They had on already took a lot of losses. Somebody's realizing that they were just used here. Give me an energy on temperance. Why is temperance here for Virgo? Why is temperance here? Somebody did take care of this other energy. Ooh, the Hierophant. So this is divine intervention. Taurus energy. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Somebody's in lack. Literally. Somebody's going through it. Somebody's struggling right now. Um, give me an energy on 
the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here i feel like somebody didn't want to give something up a person a particular lifestyle so it's kind of like they're being forced i'm actually hearing forced into seclusion so somebody could be withdrawing their energy from a lot of people wanting to be by themselves so in hermit energy your energy virgo give me your energy on the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here But it's like now they're being made to. Yep, the full Aquarius energy. Give me another energy on the Seven of Wands in the world. Wow. So somebody could be um finding out about a pregnancy here. The world to the full. Somebody could be finding out about a child. For some of you, this child is already here with this full energy. Yeah, with the Seven of Wands, this person didn't know anything about this child. It's like somebody's coming back around and dropping a baby off on your doorstep here. Give me an energy. Um, for some of you, this child is um like a toddler, like one to two years old. I'm even hearing three. So like one to three years old for some of you. Give me an energy on the world. Why is the world here for Virgo? The lovers and the ten of swords. So this person definitely did have options. They had a choice when it came to who they got involved with. Um, but whoever they chose um, just ended up betraying them. I'm hearing secrets. So this person definitely had a lot of secrets here. Give me another energy on this ten of swords. What is this ten of swords for Virgo? Oh, the magician in the reverse. Wow. Give me another energy on the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Eight of Wands. I'm hearing music make me lose control. Virgo Gemini energy on the Magician. Give me one for this Magician. The Two of Swords. Give me one on the Eight of Wands. The Page of Swords. So somebody's definitely re receiving some type of communication here. I feel like this person with this magician, they felt like they had control over the situation, but now they're realizing they didn't. Two of Swords, there's a lot of things that this person didn't know about who they were dealing with. Yeah, a lot of secrets are coming out. A lot of information is coming out about this person. Give me an energy on... The Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Virgo? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Judgment. Yeah, somebody's going through karma for their immature ways. Wanting to be in and out, wanting to have multiple options, you know, liking to juggle people. Yeah, not being serious. Somebody just wanted to have fun all the time. Give me an energy on this Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Yeah, somebody's going through karma. Why is the Two of Swords here? And they're receiving some a lot of news about one of their lovers here. Why is the two of swords here? The sun in the reverse. So for some of you, whoever this person got involved with has mental health issues. They could just be finding this information out. Yeah. That whoever they were dealing with had mental health issues. Yeah, somebody's completely unraveled here. The magician in the reverse. The Sun Leo energy. Give me a message on this Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Somebody also can't stop uncontrollably crying. The Tower Scorpio energy. So there's definitely a significant change in this situation. 
there's some major endings here. Give me an energy on this tower. What is this tower? So for some of you, this person has a child with somebody who's mentally unstable. Give me an energy on the tower. What is this tower? But somebody didn't want to give it up. I mean, what do you need to release? Somebody kept holding on. So God had to step in and pull back the veil. And this person don't like what they're seeing here. Give me an energy on the tower. Why is the tower here? Ooh, the empress. Oh. Yeah, they have a child with this person. This person is an empress in the reverse. Libra, Taurus energy. Um... For some of you, this person does sleep around. I am getting that energy. Um, somebody is also like an unfit parent. Somebody's not able to really care for their child the way they should. And for some of you, this has to do with this person's mental state. Somebody's definitely not stable mentally, emotionally, financially here. That's the tower who this person got into bed with and for some of you there is a commitment here you know it's it's a huge shocking revelation for you or for this other energy give me a message on the king of pentacles but again somebody didn't want to let someone go why is the king of pentacles in the reverse even though they were told they were receiving the warning signs but somebody was like no nah, you know it's not that like this is somebody that will make excuses for this person but they didn't have all the facts and now everything is coming out eight of wands to the page of swords and it's coming out quick and it's a lot of information that this person is receiving like almost every day they find out something new things are happening fast it's like somebody should have paid attention here to their guidance to their intuition i'm hearing trust somebody needed to trust yeah, two of pentacles in reverse this person they they're struggling to make it like they can't really balance all of their responsibilities all of their bills it's like they have more responsibilities than the amount of money they bring in give me an energy on the three of swords what is this three of swords for virgo somebody wouldn't listen here the seven of pentacles whatever yeah this person invested in it was a failure it, it did yeah nothing worked out nothing came from it at all whatever plans this person has it's it's not going anywhere somebody's not able to recoup what they've invested in i feel like um for some of you if this person is like a business owner i'm hearing like an entrepreneur it's like everything is starting to dry up for this person yeah they're losing a lot they're losing a whole lot like this person's whole life is being flipped upside down give me an energy on the king of swords why is the king of swords here for virgo yeah, any type of investments. It's like the worst case scenarios is happening. Why is the King of Swords here for Virgo? Why is the King of Swords here? Oh, we and this person got with a queen of swords and a reverse empress in the reverse. Oh, my goodness! This is somebody who could be very nasty, very mean, condescending, can talk to you any kind of way. Like, this person don't respect this masculine. I mean, yeah, this is somebody who will literally curse you out. Yes, this masculine um, gets told off quite frequently. Every day is a battle. Every day is an argument. For some of you, this person also has bipolar. So it's like this masculine don't know what version he's going to get on a daily basis. Like he plays it by ear. Give me an energy on the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here 
for Virgo. For some of you, these people could be going through a separation or they could be getting a divorce. What do I have? Look at this. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. This um, feminine energy here constantly lies to this masculine. I mean, she lies all the time. This is somebody that believes their own lie. Somebody is a compulsive liar. They don't know how to tell the truth. They believe their own lies and then the emperor in the reverse. So both of these people are in the reverse. So they're definitely an energetic match here, but this is not a divine counterpart union. I feel like this person is showing up as an empress because of this pregnancy here. And for some of you, because she's married to this emperor in the reverse, who was once upright, king of pentacles in reverse, this person has lost their standing. You know, not only financially, but I feel like this person has also lost respect in the community. Um, people look at this emperor differently now because of who he chose to get involved with and all of this drama that's going on. It's like they see this person as being unwise. Nobody will come and ask this person for advice. Because it's like, why would you look at <laughs> look at his life? I'm hearing Ayana fix my life. Yeah, this person has a lot of cleaning up to do. Like this new romantic cycle for you or for this person is not a good romantic cycle. No, this is a karmic cycle. This is a full blown lesson for this person. And this person is lied to a lot. And at one time, this person was believing a lie. But now this person is seeing like, no. I've been listening to the wrong person. Yeah, Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. Yeah, somebody just wanted to get this person stuck in some type of relationship, commitment with them. And Ten of Pentacles for money, Nine of Swords. Now this person sees it. Not either you or this other energy. They see it. They stressed out. They see the game. They see the scheme here. Yeah, because somebody wanted to win at all costs. That's what this was. Give me um one on this Ace of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, but somebody's like <sighs> no longer viewed the same way. Somebody's fallen from grace. Somebody's lost their crown. It was a poor decision. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody could have lied about a pregnancy. And lied about a child. So either this person was never pregnant or this child does not belong to this masculine. But there definitely was a lie about a child here. I'm also seeing this page of pentacles in reverse as this situation was never meant to go anywhere. It was always going to stay at a page level. Stay at something that was sexual, a good time, fun. Yeah, it wasn't meant to go anywhere. So let's pull uh, energy on the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Virgo? Why is the Eight of Swords here for Virgo? Death. Give me another energy on the Eight of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. Give me an energy on death. What for your energy for death? Why is death here? The Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody's putting an ending to this relationship, to this domestic partnership. Yeah, a page of cups. Because for some of you, the only reason this person got into this relationship was because of a child. But that has come to an end. Because like I say, for some of you, this child don't belong to this person. Or there was never no pregnancy. Give me your energy on the Three of Pentacles. And for some of you, this is somebody who definitely gloated a lot. For those of you where there was a pregnancy. This is somebody that does things for attention. Give me your energy on the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why 
I said Three of Pentacles here. The Ace of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> a pregnancy, a child. Yes, this is why this masculine even got into this Four of Wands connection, committed to this energy. But now there's an end to that because the truth is coming out. And the only reason this happened in the first place was to keep this masculine stuck. The booby trap. The pregnancy trap. That's all this was about. Somebody wanted to hold on to this person or wanted to hold on to you, Virgo. Let's pull a final message. What do you need to release? So, yeah, now somebody's releasing this. They're giving it up. So this is too much. Too much. But somebody didn't pay attention to divine intervention. They didn't follow the signs here. Somebody overlooked things. You know, they wanted to give this person the benefit of the doubt when they shouldn't have. But this is a major lesson for this person or for you. Give me a final energy for Virgo. What's the energy for Virgo? Pause. Take a moment. Close your eyes. Relax your body. Just breathe slowly and deeply. Yeah. Had this person just paused and, and really observed the surroundings, really paid attention to this person who they were dealing with, they would have seen what was always there, what was being hidden. But all this person had to do was just take a time out, not rush into something, really just sit, reflect, pray. And the answers that this person was seeking would have been revealed. Somebody would have gained full clarity, but they didn't. Somebody didn't take the time to think about things, to piece things together. Somebody just acted on blind faith. Give me a final, another message for Virgo. Another message for Virgo. Gratitude. Remember when you want it, what you have now, give thanks. Your grateful heart is a magnet for love and abundance. Yeah. Somebody forgot to be grateful here. I feel like this person just got caught up in the fast life that they forgot to be grateful. Um... Like they forgot about God. They forgot about their relationship with the Most High here. With the Divine. That's why this person is taking a hit in their finances. Because somebody got too greedy. They got too big for their britches, so to speak. <laughs> so they had to be humbled. So Virgo. This is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.